So in order to start sewing, I want to start like maybe halfway on the long end of my pillow, okay? And I'm just gonna push my needle. You might have to use a little bit of muscle. Push my needle all the way through, and I'm gonna pull that yarn until the knot stops it at the very end. Ooh, that worked out perfectly. The green of the yarn kind of blends in with that paint. So once I have that, I'm ready to start my running stitch. And this kind of stitch is a really easy stitch to use when you're sewing for the first time. So I pulled my yarn through and now I'm just gonna go back the other direction. And I'm, I wanna show you, I'm kind of like holding my fabric kind of tight, right? Like I have one hand here and one hand here. And if I hold it tight, it's easier to poke my needle through that yarn or through the fabric. And then I'm gonna pull it through and now it's on the back and I'm gonna do it again. I'm staying kind of close to the edge of my fabric. I'm not going really far down, but I also am not gonna do it right next to the edge of the fabric because if I poke a hole right here, it could rip the fabric all the way. So I'm doing it a little bit further down and I would just keep doing this technique of pulling it through, flipping it over, Sticking the needle back through, pull it through, flip it over until I get to the corner. I do want to show you one thing. When I pull my yarn through, I'm not pulling it so hard that it starts to wrinkle, right? If I pull it like that, it's going to mess up the shape of my pillow. So one way to just double check it if it starts to feel like it's too tight is just set it down and kind of smooth it out like you're smoothing out a piece of paper. Once I get to the corner of my pillow right here, oops, there you go. Once I get to the corner right here, I'm just going to change direction. So can't keep going this way. I'm going to make a turn. I'm not putting it right next to the edge of the fabric. I'm going to go in a little bit, poke it through. pull it through, flip it over, okay? If you ever get your yarn tangled up or something happens and you don't know what happened and you need help fixing it, you can always bring your project to me and I will be able to help you kind of figure out what went wrong and we can sort of rewind back to a point where um, it makes sense again. Uh, that's the wonderful thing about sewing is that it's not permanent, right? Like when we painted with paint on the fabric, once you put paint down, it's there, right? You can't erase it. But let me pretend, let's pretend like I make a mistake. Maybe I pull it through, but then I forget and maybe my needle gets mixed up here and my needle comes off of the yarn. So if I'm pulling it and now I've got like a big tangle, what I can do instead of if you get like a tangle or a knot or something is messed up don't just keep pulling and pulling and pulling that might mess up your project instead pause take a breath take your needle off of your yarn if it's still on there and then you can just go backwards right so you can pull out your last stitch and then all you have to do is put that yarn back into the hot dog bun, thread your needle again, give it kind of a tail so that it doesn't fall off, and then you can go back to that same hole and just try again, right? So nothing about sewing is permanent. You can always take it apart, start over, redo it. Um, that's one of the things I love about sewing. Here's what you're gonna do. You're going to keep sewing in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way around your pillow, but you're going to stop when you get to this point right here. You need to have like probably about the width of your hand. You need to have that much space in the middle of this long side because that's how we're going to get the fluff into your pillow. It's the most exciting part. So keep sewing until you get to right about here 
and then you can stop and do the next step. I want to show you a couple of tips for while you are sewing. Um, when you get about halfway through your project, you're going to want to start going faster. And I want to show you why it is a good idea to keep your stitches small. About one inch is a good place to be for the, the length of each stitch. So this would be a good place for me to put my needle back in. But if I got in a hurry and I was like, I just want to make it extra big so I can finish sooner, I might go too far over, right? and I might pull that yarn all the way through. And at first it might not seem like a big a big deal, but when I put stuffing inside my pillow, if there's a giant stitch like that, that pillow is not held together very well in that place, right? The purpose or the function of the yarn is to hold together these two pieces of fabric in a way that keeps the stuffing from coming out, right? It's it's kind of like glue or staples. It's just a different way of sticking two things together. And it works really well when you put those stitches close together because then, and you can kind of see when I open it up, when those stitches are close together, there's not space for all of that fluff to come out of the pillow. But if I get in a hurry and I start making my stitches bigger and bigger, that yarn is not gonna be doing its function because it's gonna leave a giant hole in the side of your pillow and all of that fluff will be able to just come right out. So if you notice that some of your stitches are starting to get too long, you can always do that handy dandy trick where you take the yarn off of the needle and then pull pull out your last stitch or pull out your last couple of stitches and start again and make those stitches smaller. It is definitely worth taking an extra 10 or 15 minutes for a pillow that's gonna last a long time. If you rush this part, then you're gonna end up with a pillow that doesn't look very good and doesn't work very good.